Hello guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today it's game week 3, championship predictions. Not much to say uh, for the intro because I just want to get I just want to get on with it today. It's way too late to be doing videos. So let's get on with the like target. 10 likes. Let's get into it. So the first game, it is a Friday night game. Uh, it's Wednesday versus Leeds. Now, this will be my first game that I will be going to this season. So, I will be doing a match day vlog on tomorrow. But it won't come out tomorrow. It will come out on probably Saturday morning. So, make sure you're looking out for that. But getting into the game then, let's start off with Leeds. It was an incredibly boring game against West Brom. I, did, I watched the game. It was so boring. Leeds were just so boring. Hardly... They weren't creating any counter, many counter attacks. It was just so boring. It really was. But then coming on to Wednesday, so poor, so poor. We need to really get a grip. And seriously, it's just not not acceptable the way we played against Sunderland. Look, look, Sunderland are a good team. Sunderland are a good team. But I think we just got a bit carried away because we beat Plymouth four 0 And comparing both teams, Plymouth and Sunderland. Yeah, there is a big there's a big difference between both of them sides. Um so Wednesday obviously won one game and two matches and then obviously Leeds have drew both games. <sighs> Sorry to be so negative, but I think Leeds have just got a bit a bit of a better squad. I know look, I know they drew two but drew both games. I just I just think Leeds are slightly better. I think they're they're a very good squad. They're still gonna get playoffs. I think Leeds will win 2-1. So next game, we'll move on to the R12 kickoffs. Bristol City against Coventry. Coventry, incredible against Oxford. I know they had a little bit of a, you know, they were losing two. Uh, well, it was two. It was two two. But then obviously Coventry got a 95th or sixth minute winner. But Will Volks obviously giving away the ball. Why would you do that, mate? Why would you? But anyway, Bristol City Millwall was a seven goal thriller. Absolutely incredible game. Um, Hadji Wright, what a player. He's going to be an incredible striker this year. I believe he can play on the left wing, if I'm not wrong. So, a bit of a versatile player there. But again, this is going to be a tough game as well. Bristol City are not a bad side. Um, they're unbeaten this season with one win and a draw. While Coventry have got a win and a loss. Because they obviously lost to Stoke first game of the season. So, my prediction for this game... I think Coventry are going to win. I think I think they'll win. I'm going to say 1-0 to Coventry. Hull City versus Millwall. So, um, obviously, Hull City drew to, drew to Plymouth. I mean, drawing to Plymouth is quite embarrassing, if I'm honest. Um, so, Hull, you may need to you may need to get a grip and maybe win, try and win this game. Because you don't really want to be drawing to Plymouth again. But anyway, uh, Brist uh, obviously Millwall lost to Bristol City. They were very unlucky, just like they were unlucky against um, Watford as well. They've, they've conceded two late winners in two games, and it's the first two games of the season. Not many teams do that, so I don't think Millwall will really want to do that again. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to go for a Millwall win, I think. I think Millwall will win. I'm going to say 2-1 Millwall. So the last half 12 game, QPR versus Plymouth. Now, QPR got a brilliant draw against United. I'll, I'll speak more on United a little bit later. Um, Plymouth got a very good result against Hull at home as well. Um, my prediction for this game, I know I've said Plymouth and like not very good, but I just genuinely think, I've got a feeling... QPR, QPR got a very good draw against United. They weren't expected to win because they were down to 10 men. Um, and they got a brilliant fight back to get, make it 2-2 and obviously end up drawing the game. My prediction for this game, I'm going to say Plymouth will actually win this game. And I'm going to say it's going to be a low-scoring game. It's going to be 1-0 Plymouth. Next game then, moving on to the 3 o'clock kickoff games. Blackburn versus Oxford. Now, Blackburn drew to Norwich last week. It's not a bad result. Could be better, but I think that was the uh, right result for both teams because Norwich aren't even that good anyway. That's no wonder I uh, predicted them so low. I think I predicted them 12th, I believe. 
but I, maybe even lower. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to. I'll have a. I'll have to have a look at that. But Coventry, uh, uh, not Coventry, Oxford uh, lost to Coventry in the last minute thanks to Will Box him and the way the ball like I said earlier. But they were just a bit unlucky, if I'm honest. Coventry are a good team. Let's be realistic. Blackburn, Blackburn are a decent team. I did say they get relegated though. But Blackburn's form is just good. It's good. So it's again, it's going to be a low-scoring game from me. I'm going to say Blackburn win one 0 Next game then is Middlesbrough versus Portsmouth. Now Middlesbrough lost to Derby uh, last week. Uh, not a very good result for uh, for Middlesbrough, but hopefully it's just one of them off games and they can you know come back. But Portsmouth, they've also got two draws from two games. But to be fair to them, they were playing very tough teams. Leeds are a tough team. Luton are a tough team. But getting a nil-nil draw is absolutely incredible. Um, obviously, Luton got a man sent off, so that, which was the goalkeeper. But Middlesbrough, they're just too good. I know they lost to Derby, but let's be realistic. Middlesbrough are a very good team. I did predict them outside the playoffs. I might, I might, I might change my prediction. I might maybe do some in January. Let me know in the comments if I, if you think I should do that. But anyway, um, yeah, I think Middlesbrough are just a bit too good. I'm going to say 2-0 Middlesbrough. Norwich against Sheffield United next. Now, let's just start with United first. I mean, how do you, how on earth do you end up drawing to QPR when they're down to 10 men? I don't get it, United. I really don't. But anyway, I'm not going to slate you too much. But you brought in some good players. Rak Saki and Michael Cooper are very good players to bring in. They certainly are. I don't think Rak Saki will start many games. But I do think he is a very good player anyway. Michael Cooper will probably start against Norwich. I think that's the reason why they drop points against QPR. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, I don't think Andy Davis is a very good keeper in my opinion. In, I'm going to stop saying that. I don't think Andy Davis is a good keeper. That's my take on, on, on that. I really don't think he's a good keeper. So, I think it's smart that United have brought in another keeper. Who is a good keeper? Michael, Michael Cooper. Very good. Norwich are just terrible. That's all I can say. They are just terrible. Drawing to Blackburn is shocking. It really is. And I think Norwich are going to get absolutely battered. I think they're going to lose. I'll give them a goal, but I think United are going to win 3-1. Next game, there's Preston versus Luton. Let's start off with Preston. Now, obviously, Ryan Lowe left when, obviously, Preston lost 2-0 to United. And they brought in Eckingbottom. Now, as much as I hate him, I still think he's a good. he's a very good manager and certainly... He can definitely get pressing out of this league because they've been in this league long enough, and they want to, and they want to probably stay uh, not thirteenth in this league, like they not in that mid-table stretch like they do every season. Obviously, Luton won't have Kaminsky because um, I think he got a, were it second yellow, I believe so. So it will be a, it'll be a match get um, one match ban, so they won't have him in goal. So I think it'll be Shea in goal, who's not a bad keeper actually. He's a Definitely a championship standard keeper, so I think Luton will be all right. I don't think it'll make much difference to them. I just don't think they're going to beat Preston. I, I think Hacking Bottom's going to have a good debut, man, managerial debut for Preston. So I think one of my shock predictions this is going to be 2 0 Preston. Next game then is Stoke against West Brom. Now, I think Stoke had one of them off days against Watford. They lost 3 0. It weren't a good result at all. West Brom played extremely boring football, but then again, I thought they were, a better, they were the better side in the game against Leeds. They really did. Um, but I do, I do think Stoke, I've got a feeling, I think they're at home. They've got the fans behind them. I think they're going to beat West Brom for me. I'm going to say. 2-1 Stoke. So the next game is Sunderland versus Burnley. Now, before I talk about this game, um, I was involved in, on, not in, on a podcast. Um, th this YouTube channel is called Mac and Cabby. Uh, I'll, put his, I'll put his channel in the comments. You can go subscribe to him. And also watch the stream that I was involved on. It's just just uh, me and a couple of, couple of uh, lads just talking about the game. 
um, for about an hour. So make sure you, so go and check that out. Sit and see how I did, and let uh, and uh, let me know that you've come from my channel to subscribe to his channel because he's on two thousand subscribers and try and get him to three thousand as well. But anyway, Sunderland against Burnley. This is going to be a fantastic game. Sunderland absolutely destroyed us, and they absolutely deserved it. Sunderland was so much better. Wednesday were were completely off. They weren't doing anything. It was shocking. Anyway, Burnley absolutely destroyed Cardiff. Um, they're just such a great team in this league. They're going to destroy this league. They really are. But for me, I think it'll be a draw. I I I strange. I genuinely think it'll be a draw. So I'm going to go. I think this will be high scoring. 2-2. Two, two. Right then, uh, last three o'clock kickoff game is Watford against Derby. Watford got a fantastic, both teams got fantastic wins. Watford won 3-0 against Stoke. Derby won, beat Middlesbrough 1-0. Um, Watford got two wins from, well I've got two wins from two. This will um, boost the players' morale up. Derby could do could do well in this game, you know. So my prediction for this game is going to be a tight one, but I think there's going to be goals. So I'm going to say 3-2 to Watford. So let's end the predictions with a Welsh derby, Swansea against Cardiff. Swansea uh, beat Preston 3-0 last week, uh, last week, which is a very good result. Cardiff, <sighs> battered by Burnley 5-0. I don't think you want to talk about that. Um, but Swan, for me, I think this is going to be a seven-goal thriller. I don't think there's ever been a seven-goal from the Rennes derby, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong. I think Swansea are going to win 4-3. So there it is. There are all the championship predictions done for this week. Like I said, I'll put um, Mac and Cabby's YouTube channel in my in the comments. So go subscribe to him and say that you're from the Clay's Right YouTube channel on his um, stream, which was oh, it were on Monday. So, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. 10 likes is the like target. So I will see you in the next one.